Welcome to the Bettendorf Public Library's Take Home Workshop. Today we're going to be making these card wallets. We all have cards for everything, right? We've got rewards cards and we have gift cards and of course library cards. We have more cards than will fit into our wallet. So here's an extra wallet that you can either make and make your primary wallet if you like or have an extra one in your, in your bag that carries the cards that maybe you don't use as often. Um, if you have some gift cards or something like that, a good place to store and organize those. Again, one of the nice things about this is that we're doing some recycling with this program. So let's see what is in our kit. So the first thing in our kit is our book pockets, and this is where we're recycling. So these are book pockets from back when we had due date slips that would go into the library, into the library book. Um, we don't get rid of much. We <laughs> We save things. So you're going to get four book pockets in your kit. You're going to get a piece of cardstock. Now this is a fairly heavyweight cardstock. I want to say 210 GSM, like 78 pounds. Um, just something a little bit more rigid to give it a little more protection. You could do it probably with something lighter, but I find this weight works really nice. You're going to have a glue stick. And you're going to have a piece of double-sided um, hook and loop, both the hook and the loop side. And these have a clear plastic backing that you'll peel off and they have a sticky back, so we don't need additional glue for that. What we're asking you to provide is a ruler and a pencil and a pair of scissors. And that's all you need, so let's go ahead and get started. The first step is going to be marking our cardstock for this accordion fold. So we're going to start and we're going to mark two inches down. I'm going to flip it around, make it a little bit easier for me to see. Two inches down. And then from that mark, I'm going to make 14 additional marks and I'm going to make them every three eighths of an inch. So 15 all together, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So all together 15 marks. And now I'm going to do my accordion fold and I'm going to start with this two inch marks. And when I fold it, and I'm actually going to fold it, make all the folds this way because that makes it easier to see my mark. And then I'm going to make them all this way and then I'm going to go back and do the accordion fold. But I'm going to make the fold on that mark and I'm lining it up so that the sides are together because I want my sides to be very, very straight. I'm just going to keep going all the way down if I can get it to hold still. Lining up my sides and making a fold at each pencil mark. And this is one where you want your, your folds to be fairly close to the same height, but if they're not, it's not the end of the world. What I would say more crucial than having your folds at the exact same width is making sure that your edges are lined up as you fold so that this fold is perpendicular to your edge. It makes for, it's not, again, it's a craft. It's not the end of the world. Um, but it does make for a neater wallet when you're done because your edges will line up nice and tidy. Okay, so I have one fold that corresponds with each of the 15 marks we make. Now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna make this an accordion fold. So this two inch piece, I'm gonna fold back to the white, so back to the inside, and flip it over and make the next fold the other way and just keep flipping back and forth. So each fold, you're gonna make back again the other way. 
how you do this is up to you. If it's easier for you to hold it upright like that, you can certainly do that. But if it's easier for you to lay it down and do it, the only thing about laying down is when you come back to do the fold this way, make sure you don't bend your, your first two inch flap. You wanna keep that straight. Okay, so you have your accordion fold done. Your front, and then this will come over the top. Now we're gonna set this aside, and we're going to get our book pockets ready. So the book pockets come with this extra little tab up here. We're gonna cut that off, all of them. Just cut straight across the top of the front edge of the pocket. Now you've got your four book pockets, and we're going to cut these in half. So you're gonna end up with one side that actually has a bottom to the pocket and one side that doesn't. And that's okay because the bottom of our accordion will, for, will form the bottom of that second pocket. So cutting these in half are going to be about one and seven eighths inches. So I'm measuring one and I'm cutting it, and then I'm just gonna use that for a template on the next one. Then I'm just gonna take the second one, line it up, and cut. So that gives me eight sections of book pocket. I didn't do a great job measuring. Some are a little bit longer than others. If that happens, you are more than welcome to even them out. And in fact, I probably will because I measured poorly. Um, but again, it's a very forgiving craft. So if your pockets are uneven, that actually, it's still gonna work. So now we're gonna take our accordion folded card stock. We're gonna open it up a little bit. We're gonna use our glue stick and we're going to smear glue all over this whole thing. Don't get too terribly close to the edges. I don't think you wanna go right up to the edges, but get all of these sections in between and do not, do not skimp with your glue stick. And then we're just going to take our pockets and we're going to lay them in each crease that is the, the bottom crease. And we're going to center them side to side. So crease number one. And number two. Three. Some of this, this is at the bottom of the bottom pocket, so I wanna make sure the closed bottom is goes to the bottom of the, of the crease, of course. Otherwise, you won't be able to put anything in your wallet. And the last one. Then I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna fold it back up again. Do my accordion fold again. So the bottom of each book pocket is down in the bottom of the fold of the, of the accordion. Give it a good squeeze. 
And then I'm gonna just let that sit for a while. I'm gonna put some pressure on it and let it sit for a couple minutes to give that glue a chance to dry. Now that my glue is dried somewhat, you'll see we've got this nice accordion going on and we have room in there to slide our library card or our gift cards or our reward cards or one of the 50 bajillion cards that we have but how to keep them safe once they're in there. These book pockets are just the right size. They're gonna hold them very snugly, but you're still gonna to to put the top. So I'm gonna take the top, I'm gonna to fold it down, and I'm just, I'm not gonna put a crease in here. I'm just going to bend it this way. I will crease it once it is full of cards, or it will probably actually just crease itself. I'm gonna take my peel and stick hook and loop, and I'm gonna peel it off one side, and I'm putting in, your pieces are a little more square, you might want to cut it to a smaller piece. You can make whatever size you want. But I'm going to put it vertical like this, just right in the center. Then I'm going to peel off the other side of the plastic and fold this down. When it's vertical like that, that gives me some play. So now I can open this up, but if I need it to be, if I need a little more side to side, See, it will do that if I want it to be nice and snug. I just fasten it a little bit farther down the Velcro. So it gives it a little bit of adjustability there. And there you have it. There's your nifty card wallet. This one is actually even better than the one I showed you at the beginning. So we're just going to pop my library card in there. And there you go. Show us what you've made. We want to see your card wallet. Um, the other thing is too, we have more of these book pockets here at the library. So what other ideas do you have that we could use for a workshop for these kind of book pockets? I'd love to hear your ideas. I also want to thank the Bentonorf Public Library Foundation and Quad City Bank and Trust for sponsoring this take-home workshop.